Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Kate and I'm your fitness trainer. Today I'm going to take you through a new um, mobility and strength workout. We don't need any equipment, we just need a little bit of space and the mat. Before we start today, let's do a little warm up. So stay nice and tall, let's march in place. We're just going to raise our heart rate up a little bit before we start the workout. Today's workout is going to uh, have four exercises and we will do 10 repetitions on each side for each exercise and we will repeat the sequence three times. Perfect guys, you can swing your hands back and forth, you can keep it on your hips. Let's do three, two, one and stop. Now, let's open up our arms to the side. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and then fold forward, exhale, come back up. You can try to reach the opposite leg, the toes of the opposite leg, or you can just stay in the middle and rotate your torso through the waistline. Make sure you continue to breathe. Inhale and exhale. Keep your core braced. Let's do two more. And stop. Perfect, guys. One more exercise before we start. Place your feet closer together. Place your hands on your knees and Let's draw small circles with our knees. You can do these exercises. Um, you can use them in any of your workouts for the warm up, or you can do it as your active recovery workout during performing all these exercises together. Stop and switch. Perfect, guys. Remember, we are continuing to breathe, keeping our core engaged, our lower back nice and neutral. Perfect, guys. Nicely done. Okay, now we can grab a mat, get down on the floor. The first exercise we are going to do sitting on the floor with our hands behind the back, feet bent at the knees, and Slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Put both knees on the floor. Keep one hand behind your back. And as you exhale, reach back, bringing your hips up. Put your hips back down. Rotate back in the center. Exhale. And raise your hips on the opposite side. That's two. Feel the stretch in the side of your body. Three, we are going from side to side, rolling and raising our hips, placing it back down, rolling and raising it again. Remember, we are doing 10 repetitions on each side. Do your best, guys, to raise those hips up and reach as far back as you can. Let's do four more. Inhale as you sit back. Exhale as you reach back. Last three. Last two. And one more on each side. Perfect, guys. Nicely done. Now, we are going to get back up, stand nice and tall on one side of the mat, take a deep breath in, and then exhale as we 
uh, fold forward, inhale, and then exhale. Walk into the plank, step one foot forward, and open up the arm, facing that front knee. Then put it back down, switch legs, and open up, rotate your torso towards the front knee on the opposite side. Then bend your knees if you need to, walk back up, stand up. If you're more flexible, you can just fold forward, walk out into the plank, step forward, open up your chest towards the front knee on both sides, and then walk back up, stand up. That's two repetitions. We are doing 10. No need to rush, gently, and make sure you are breathing through the exercise. Perfect. We did four repetitions. As you progress through the workout, you're going to feel warmer. Your muscles will be warmer as well. And you guys will be able to reach a greater range of motion. We did four. We only have three left. I said we did four. I meant we had four left. Now, as we finish this repetition, we only have two reps left. We are also going up and down, making sure that our heart rate stays slightly elevated. But it's a gentle movement. That's why it's low intensity, but feels great. Perfect. Come back up. And now we finished two exercises. Exercise number three will be on the floor. We're going to get down on one side, keep the hand under the shoulder. Then we're going to step our upper leg forward as much as you can. If you're here, just be mindful when you exhale and reach over your head, make sure that you are balancing on that heel. If you can move it further forward, that would be good. So take a deep breath in as you keep your hips on the ground and then exhale and reach, lifting your hips up. Two. Three. You can also stay on your elbow and keep that um, upper leg further away from the hand. And you can also do it off the knee. So if you need to, guys, modify. I'm going to do five more. Three more. Two more. One more. And get down. Now we are going to switch side and do 10 more repetitions on the opposite side. So first, sit on the side, bring that upper leg forward. Make sure your um, 
Arm is stable, shoulder is stable. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and reach. Two. Three. Four. Halfway. Four left. Three. Keep the heel on the floor. One more. And done. Perfect, guys. Now we are going to turn around and finish the first round. Exercise number four. We are going to get in the side lunge first and then from here. We are going to drop our hands on the floor and walk out into the quadruple position on one leg. Our hands under our shoulders, the knee is under the hip. And from here, we are going to raise the straight leg to the side and then walk back up in a side lunge. Inhale, exhale. Three, four, try not to rotate your hips, halfway, four left. Three, two. If you cannot move from the side lunge into the quadruple position, you can just stay here and raise that side leg. Last two. One more. Perfect. And now we are going to turn around and do the same thing, but on the opposite leg. So first, we need to get in a side lunge. From here, we are walking out until we get on the all fours position and then back up. Two. And back up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last two. Last one. Perfect, guys. Nicely done. We finished first round. Now we are going to take a sip of water. Boom! And not catch my water bottle. Sip of water and we will continue with round number two. I wanted to record this workout outside, but it's just too windy. So not today, guys. Okay. We are going to start on the floor with our knees bent at 90 degree, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Take a deep breath in, exhale, drop your knees, but raise your hips. One. You can 
feel that you're sliding away just a little bit it's okay to readjust before rotating to the side three four five halfway six four left three left you can reach with the straight arm or you can extend the arm and then bring it back to your torso last repetition on each side perfect we finished first exercise now let's get back up if you need a little more time to reset between exercises you can pause the video and then catch up with us later on so take a deep breath in we are going to walk out into the plank step forward open up the chest towards the front knee and then come back up if you need a little more space you can have your yoga block in front so you can elevate your torso and have more room to step that foot forward that's two walk out step that foot forward switch opposite foot come back up that's three and four halfway through they are stretching and elongating the spine through the twists the rotations last four doing great guys we only have three repetitions left keep your shoulders back and down try to keep your hips down as well parallel to the floor last one going up and walking out into the plank last time for this round perfect and come back up just like that we are halfway through the workout so now we are going down on the floor again we are going to do the hip raise and overhead reach so we are starting here beginners if you need to you can bend that lower leg and do it off your knee you can also get down on your elbow for more stability take a deep breath in as we exhale we are going to raise the hips 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do not rotate your body. Keep it in the same plane of motion. Last one. And down. Perfect. Now, all we have to do is to turn around. So first, place that lower leg on the ground if you need to. Bend the knee. Then make sure that your hand is under your shoulder. Your chest is open. Take a deep breath in. And let's go. Two. You don't have to place your hips all the way down on the floor. Four. But lower it down and then raise. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Perfect. And also, as you noticed, the stable elbow should be locked in. So keep it nice and straight. Do not bend it because it will be harder for you to keep your shoulder stable. Okay. I'm sitting here with my legs crossed. Last exercise for the second round. Side lunge, walk out, and then side um, raise. So we are starting with the side lunge. Then we are walking out to the quadruple position and coming back up. If you want to, you can also get all the way up, get into the side lunge. If you stay low, it will be harder. You will feel it in your quad. Three. Four. If you need a little break for your quad, you can come up, get back down. Five. Make sure you're keeping that stable heel on the ground. And you're keeping your hips parallel to the ground as you're raising that side leg. Last three. Two more. Up. Last one on this side. And come back up to standing. Perfect, guys. Let's turn around. Get in the side lunge first. So push your hips back and down. Sit back and down in that heel. Then drop your hands on the floor. Walk out and raise the leg. Two. Four. Six. Ah, the quad is burning. Three more. I'm going to keep fighting. Last two. I can do it. You can do it. Focus, guys. Up and come back up. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, guys. We are done with two rounds. All we have to do is to do one more round, and that's it. Before we start. Our last round, sip of water. We are not moving weight, but you're going to feel the sweat. Because all of these exercises require strength. And also, you're going up and down, rotating. It's going to keep your heart rate elevated. So if you need to, stop after two rounds. If you can continue, continue. We begin round number three. Rotating from side to side. Raising the hips. That's two repetitions. You can have an object behind you just to try to reach it. That's three. Four. Five. Halfway. I like to do this type of workouts on Mondays. This is how I redefine my Monday. I used to hate Mondays, but now it's all about self-care, self-love. Perfect. Almost there. Last one on each side. Very well. You guys can notice that it's easier or you're more mobile on one side. You can reach further on one side and reach not as far back on the opposite side. So it's your chance to work on the imbalances to make sure that both sides of your body are pretty equal. Okay, now let's do walk out into the runner's lunge and chest opener. Take a deep breath in, stay on one side of the mat. Walk out into the plank, step forward. Repeat your torso, twisting through the waistline. Come back up. You might actually feel more of a thoracic spine twist and stretch when you open up your chest to the side. Three. Keep working, guys. We are getting closer to the finish line. Four. As an option, you can use wrist band, wrist weights, or ankle weights for some of the exercises for mobility. It will make it just a little more fun. And you will definitely feel your muscles the next day. Halfway through. Perfect. Let's do two, four more. So nice and quiet in here. Perfect for this type of workouts. 
some of you might want to listen to relaxation music. I like to just listen to my heartbeat. That's my way of meditation. Connecting my mind and my body. Last one. Nicely done, guys. Okay, now, moving on. We are going down on the side. Get in the position. If you need to, take a sip of water. Take a little break to bring your heart rate back down a little bit. I feel amazing, so I just want to continue. You can start with... Touching the knee with your elbow, keeping your chest up and open. Take a breath, take a deep breath in. Exhale and raise. Two. Four. Six, two more, last one, and get down, perfect, let's turn around and finish this exercise on the opposite side. Take a quick break, take a deep breath in, get in the position. Make sure everything is nice and stable, and let's go. Three. Five. Three left. Two, one, and done. Just like that, guys. We are getting to the finish line, getting super close to the finish line. We only need to do one exercise, and we are going to do it right now. So place your feet nice and wide. Push your hips back and down, drop your hands, walk out, raise the leg. That's two. Four. Be gentle. Listen to your body. Six. Seven. That quad is burning. But I only have two repetitions left. So I'm going to continue. Focusing on my breathing and come back up. Whew. Okay, guys, finish line. We just need to do 10 more repetitions on the opposite side and we are done. So, I'm excited to finish. I love stretching at the end, bringing my heart rate back to normal, bringing my breathing back to normal. So let's do it. Let's finish this workout. 
Step back and down. Walk out. And raise. Two. Three. Four. Only five repetitions till the finish line. Four. Three. Last two. Last one. And done. Oh, yeah, yeah. The quads are burning. Oh, from all that sitting, but that's good. That's how you get stronger. You push yourself a little harder every day, a little further. You're doing one more repetition, stimulating that muscle growth or endurance. So, we are all done. Now, let's get down on the floor. Lay down. Place your back on the floor. Make sure that you are pretty close with your lower back to the floor. If you are arching too much, just rotate your hips under. Now, let's raise one knee to the chest. Exhale, and then twist, trying to place that knee on the opposite side of the mat. Perfect. Now, let's switch. Bringing the knee to the chest will definitely help you to put that lower back down so there is more connection between the lower back and the floor perfect and now just hug both knees you can rock from side to side and let's get up and turn around we are going to get into the child's pose get back and down on your heels extend your arms in front exhale and try to reach the floor with your chest pull your shoulders shoulder blades back and down feel the stretch under the shoulder blades Perfect. And now we are going to move both hands to the side without bringing our hips up. We are stretching one side and now we are going towards the opposite side, stretching the opposite side. Perfect. And now let's get in the center. Come up on all fours. Reach under the arm without shifting our hips back. Exhale, relax. The torso is laying down on the floor on the shoulder blade. Come up and switch. Perfect, guys. Okay. That's the very end of today's workout. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you like the workout, drop your comments down below. Give me the thumbs up so I know that you guys like it. And I will continue to post um, more mobility and strength workouts throughout the month of February. So the next month we can 
focus on building the strength. Anyway, guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. And you can also go through the list of the workouts that I did before and pick a new one for your next session. I love working out with you guys and I hope to see you next time. Bye.